What's up everyone? My name is Marcus. My wife's name is Cassie and we are the CAC Attack and we're coming at you with another great information based video. But before we get to that, I want to just share with you a couple of important details. Remember our long form video schedule, which is that we will be putting out videos every Sunday evening and every Thursday evening, probably around seven or eight o'clock. So remember that. And before we get started with talking about the items that we are going to share in this video, I want to share with you a few important details. If we'll just pan the camera over this way a little bit, we've made recent videos that have been top selling men's jeans, top selling men's pants and top selling men's random clothing items and shoes and boots. And so in, in those videos, we have shared with you um, on the screen graphic that some of them have sold because we always run about a week behind when we uh, video it versus when we actually post it. And so you saw where some of them have already sold, but there have been some that have items that have sold since we posted those videos. And I just want to tell you about those so that you can see that we are seeing success on these items that we are recommending. We aren't just recommending brands and then having them sit in our store. So I just want to cover with you a couple of really cool ones. Y'all will remember the third uh, video of the top men's pants and you'll remember John Elliott joggers. We have just recently sold those for $67.50. That's right around where we thought we would sell them. Incredible profit. Then on the men's jeans video, True Religion jeans, we recently sold for $40, that exact pair. That, and that one sold in one day. One day, incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are flying off the shelves. And so you wanna be on the lookout for True Religion. Levi's 501 CT, if you'll remember, I shared with you a bunch of Levi's. I didn't even share sell-through rates because I felt like it was just more of a gut feeling uh, thing when I was out in the thrift, but 501 CT. Levi's sold for $34 just recently. Also Levi's 501 XX. Some of you may remember they were kind of a burgundy color. Really cool. And I said because of the XX, I don't know much about it. That made them special. And the burgundy color, just a unique color. That made them special. Sold for $35. And then lastly on the most recent video where I kind of jumped around on different men's items, I shared with you a brand that I've passed over before, but I won't be passing on it no more. MMA Elite, it was a long sleeve thermal shirt and it just sold for $30. And that was right around the price point that we thought we would move it for. And so we're selling these items and I believe you're gonna sell them too. So that's the whole point of these videos is to put these name brands, let them be etched into your mind and into your brains. And when you see them, alarms and bells should go off. Pick them up, they're gonna make you some money. So let's get into it today. Check this out. What? My goodness gracious. I think if my count is right, that's 18 men's shirts. We got some short sleeve polos. We got some short sleeve button ups. We've got some long sleeve shirts and I got some work to do. So we got to get right to it. Okay. So I'm going to lead off with what I believe to be the hottest selling men's shirt on eBay. Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, in person, whatever your preference is, I believe that if you find this brand, it is gonna sell for crazy amounts of money and it's gonna sell lightning fast. And that is Roback. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a Roback shirt to show you because we sold it so fast, which kind of works out for the video, but I can't show you the brand up close and all that. But we're gonna flash our sold comp and it's incredible. So let me share with you the stats on Roback first, okay? So I just did search Roback shirt. This is a golf brand, by the way. I don't think I said that, but an extremely hot men's golf brand. So when you search Roback shirts pre-owned for men, there are 378 listed and 1,300 have sold. I didn't even do the math on that to know what percentage of a sell-through rate that is. But that is as hot of a clothing item on eBay as it gets. We paid $6 at Goodwill for the one that we sold and we flipped it in eight hours? Yes. For $60, I believe $59.99. It sold so lightning fast. So you have got to be on the lookout for Roback. I think it has a little emblem with a little dog on it. 
you're gonna know it. You're gonna know it by the feel. It's a quality feeling shirt. And they probably have other clothing items as well. I've only found one short sleeve polo, but it is incredible. The day that I found it in Goodwill, my heart literally skipped a beat. So we're gonna stick with golf because I've got some good shirts to share with you that are in that particular category. So this is Holderness and Born. Now we have sold a couple of these and this is a quality golf shirt. You can tell just by the feeling of the material that it's really good. We have recently sold two of these golf polos for $30 a piece and these sell really quickly. Yes. So they're a great golf brand. They're very sought after. Let me show you one more time. Holderness and Born. They come, some of them with stripes like this one. Some of them are solid colors. We've sold a solid. Uh, we've sold a stripe. Some of them have all over prints. And we've learned, as just a side note, all over print, just about anything, you definitely want to look up. And if it's a good brand and an all over print, the price just went up some. Mm -hmm. So be on the lookout for Holderness and Born. It's a great brand. And so let me share with you a few stats from eBay. Now, the surprisingly, the sell-through rate isn't just as good as what you would think based on our sales experience recently, but there are 916 listed. This is for a short sleeve polo, Holderness and Born, 916 listed and 673 have sold. So that's solid, but let me just tell you, beyond just that, those numbers, our sales experience, albeit it's just been two, but we have recently listed them and sold them fairly quick, probably within less than 30 days, for sure, probably two to three weeks at most. They sold for $30. And so this is a great brand. Be on the lookout for it. Add it to your list when you're out in the thrift. Okay, so before I get to, these are Peter Millar, okay? Before I get to this, I wanna share with you uh, a few things about Peter Millar. I would compare Peter Millar, the brand, as far as the number of items that are out there, to Levi's when I was talking to you uh, about Levi's in the jeans video. It's like being dropped out of an airplane, remember that analogy, into you know the Atlantic Ocean and you were trying to doggy paddle to stay, keep your head above water to stay afloat. Peter Millar is kind of like that. If you do just a general search on Peter Millar, so let me give you an example because a few of these that I have here are Peter Millar Summer Comfort. There's been some resellers that I've watched on YouTube that have said Peter Millar Summer Comfort is a pickup. Now maybe they there was a little more to that recommendation and I misunderstood. So I recently picked up a couple of Peter Millar uh, short sleeve polos Summer Comfort and they've been sitting. So if you look up Peter Millar Summer Comfort Short Sleeve Polo for men, there are 21,000 listed, pre-owned again, 21,000 listed and 6,200 have sold. So the sell-through rate actually isn't that good. And I know you can do little tricks where you mark it down a little bit and improve the sell-through rate. But in general, when I search for something and when I'm out in the thrift, I'm wanting to get something that has a good sell-through rate or there's not very many listed and you just think that it's a specialty type of item. There's just gotta be something special about the item for me and what our business model is and what we're trying to accomplish. So we picked up a couple of Peter Millar Summer Comforts, had some stripes on them or something and nothing else and they've been sitting in our store and we haven't had much interest, we haven't gotten any offers, I don't think we have many watchers on them. So I personally, you do what you want, this, this is just my opinion, but we have decided we're not gonna pick those up anymore. But that doesn't mean we're not gonna pick up Peter Millar's Summer Comforts. So let me transition into what I believe is a pickup. And this is gonna be just all over the map. You'll have to decide when you're out in the thrift. I'm just wanting to plant some little seeds in your mind and show you examples of how you can hone in on a particular item that's within a brand that's saturated. Okay, so let's go to the first one. Peter Millar, Summer Comfort. Okay, let's come in close just so you can see. Okay, some people have not seen Peter Millar, Summer Comfort. And these shirts, they're like a performance uh, feel. They're very lightweight. They're very soft and comfortable. This one is a beautiful shirt. It's, it's kind so of like pretty. a greenish color and it has like a, a purplish burgundy stripe. It's beautiful, but let me show you why I believe 
This shirt right here is a pickup. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Tory Pines. Now, sometimes you're gonna see company logos or just whatever type of logo, a brand on a shirt or on a jacket or something, and it brings the value down. But every once in a while, you're gonna see something that brings the value up. This is one of those examples. To all the, the golfers out there and golf fans, you'll know what Torrey Pines is. This is a what I guess you would consider to be a fairly prestigious golf course, all right? A lot of the uh, certain PGA tournaments are played there, okay? But when you look up Peter Millar, Summer Comfort, Short Sleeve Polo, and you add Torrey Pines, there are only 16 listed, and the CAC Attack's got one of them, <laughs> and there are nine that have sold. And looking it up, we actually just recently listed this one, and I believe I listed this one for $34.99, I believe. And we've already gotten some action on it. Mm -hmm. they, no one has bought Not it yet, offers, yeah. but they've sent some offers. So I love that. Even if they send you a, a lowball offer, the mm -hmm. fact that they're just sending you offers and you've got watchers, that's what you want. That creates action in your store. Mm -hmm. So we just took Peter Millar Summer Comfort that had 21,000 listed and 6,200 that have sold <laughs> into a much better sell-through rate just because it has this little hit right here. And that's going to put it in a whole different category and you're going to appeal to maybe not that many people but enough to where this item is going to move and we believe it's going to move for probably about 30 to 35 dollars so that's how you find good items and that's what you need to be on the lookout for so let's stick with it let's stay with peter millar summer comfort mm -hmm. all right so you know we don't have to stay on that one long you know what that looks like okay mm -hmm. and check out this pattern or, or stripe so pretty it's really cool uh, you know blue and green and kind of a pinkish color and it's just it's in fact in the video you probably can't even really appreciate it in person this is a beautiful shirt now we're going to show you why this one is special so check this out so this is pinehurst once again another prestigious golf course that is going to make this shirt sought after and let me prove my point this one is even better than Tory Pines. When you look up Peter Millar, Summer Comfort, Short Sleeve Polo, and you add in the keyword Pinehurst. And let me say again, when you're searching, keywords are so important. Keywords are important when you're searching and, and out there in the thrift, and keywords are so important when you're listing items. You can get more money for an item and you can sell it faster if you add a certain keyword or keywords. Cassie laughs at me because when I list items, I list so many keywords, it looks like an encyclopedia. And she's like, okay, well we use Vindu as a cross-listing app and I can't fit all of those. So, and I'm like, well, no, don't delete all my keywords. I like them. I want to leave them in there because it's going to help them sell. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. But if you look up Peter Millar Summer Comfort Short Sleeve Polo and you add in Pinehurst, there are 59 listed and 42 have sold. Wow. And these sell for even a little better than the one with the Tory Pines hit on it. These are selling for 35 to 40. In fact, I think we have this one listed for 39.99 based on recent sold comps. So great pickup. This is how you find a brand and maybe you pass on it sometimes, but you don't always pass on it. Knowledge is power. All right, so let's, now this one is so good. In fact, we haven't listed this one yet. We are but we're about to list it because the Masters is coming up. So check this one out. Masters designed by Peter Millar. I cannot tell you how excited I was when I found this shirt. And I just had a feeling about it. I hadn't heard any resellers on YouTube talk about it. Not to say they haven't, but I just hadn't watched, the, heard a video or, or seen anything about it. But when you look at Masters by Peter Millar short sleeve polo pre-owned. There are only 60 listed and there are 67 that have sold. So over a 100% sell through rate. And we've learned that if you list it at a certain time, which now is the time we're in March, the masters is coming up. It's going to be hot. And so we will be listing this shirt this week. And I believe we can get at a minimum in the high thirties, maybe even low uh, to, to mid forties uh, on this particular shirt. In there's, there's a cool little hit. Too. Incredible shirt. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. It just has the, 
That's the, the Masters uh, logo that's on a lot of their, I, don't, I think it's on the green jacket uh, that the, the golfers win. But um, incredible find. And so once again, a Peter Millar specialty type of item and one that you want to be on the lookout for and it's going to make you some great money. Now let's stick with Peter Millar. I'm really ODing on Peter Millar, but I'm trying to challenge you. I'm trying to, to get you to think outside the box and not always pass on a particular brand. And also don't pick up every uh, one of those particular brand because there's some you need to pass on and there's some you need to grab. So this is not Summer Comfort. Look, this is just Peter Millar. And so this is not even, this is more of just the cotton. It doesn't have the, the spandex or the polyester blend in it. This is just a regular cotton shirt. It's striped. There's nothing too, too special about it. And if you look up Peter Millar short sleeve polos, okay, just a short sleeve polo, not even summer comfort, there are 35,000 listed and 9,100 that have sold. So that's a no-go. You don't want to pick that up, but not so fast. Once again, we're going to look at the hit. I recently learned this. This is the logo for Notre Dame, the college. And so when you look up, going back to the importance of keywords, when you look up Peter Millar short sleeve polo and you just add in Notre Dame, there are 39 listed and 20 have sold. So that's a great sell through rate. And this random Peter Millar polo that isn't anything that special, when you add in that particular logo that's on it, now it becomes a sought after item. Now it becomes a special item. This is not just a Peter Millar polo. This is in a whole different category now and it's gonna make you some money. And these may not sell for quite as much as the Summer Comfort, maybe more in a 25 to $30 range, high 20s, low 30s, but still a great flip. It's gonna be sought after and I believe that it is gonna move fast for you. So remember that. Now there will be others Obviously, that's the only ones that we have found, a couple of those golf courses, the Masters one and the Notre Dame. But that's not for you to look specifically for just those. Okay, you can look for those, but I'm trying to um, open your minds and get you to think outside the box to anytime you see a Peter Millar. Now, if it's for your local golf course in whatever city that you live, you might want to pass on that one, okay? But if it's a college that you recognize, if it's a golf course especially, now if you're not a golf fan, you might not know what the different golf courses, what the names are, okay? But if it's any hit on it, maybe you should check it, especially if it's the name of a golf course, and there's a decent chance that it might make the value of it more and it also might improve the selfie rate for it. So just remember that uh, when you look at this. Okay, so next up, I recently found this one and this one is just a fun one to say, okay? So let's come on in. Psycho Bunny. It's just fun to say. Psycho. And so- Show the shirt. Uh, yeah, this one is nothing too special about it it's just a polo mm -hmm. not any kind of crazy print look you can check out the the psycho bunny <laughs> he does kind of look psycho with the the bones the bones and you know the the black eyes and all but he's coming to make you some money and i'm going to tell you why because when you look up psycho bunny short sleeve polo for men pre-owned there are 798 listed and 946 have sold. That's psycho. I mean, it, for just this little polo, and I looked it up, these sell for anywhere from the high 20s to low 30s. So again, not breaking the bank, a good bread and butter item, but does it get any better than that? It's amazing. Well over 100% sell through rate. This is the kind of stuff that's gonna be out there. And some people, I might've even passed on this until just recent time when I learned that you can't pass on this. You can't pass on items like this, but there are so many brands that are out there that are good like this one that you can pick up for just a few dollars depending on how your Goodwills and thrift stores price. And they're gonna move fast and they're gonna make you money. So don't pass on Psycho Bunny. All right, so this one is a really good one, um, this brand. I don't, I'm not gonna share with you sell-through rates on this one. I'm just gonna talk about this one, okay? Because when you look up sell-through rates, it's one of those weird items where the sell-through rates don't seem to be that great. But in our experience, 
we have sold these items so fast, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's come in close. Robert Graham, most of you are gonna know about this one, but since we're talking about men's shirts, I had to talk about Robert Graham. Now I wanna say that there's gonna be a lot of people watching this video. I know the comments are gonna come. <laughs> oh, you got Robert Graham for $6. Uh, they're marked up to $20, $30, $40. Dollars. Okay, I get it. If they're marked up really high, any item that is marked up that high, it's a pass, more than likely. But if you can find them, if your Goodwills run sales where they're half off on certain color uh, labels, certain red tags or yellow tags or blue tags or whatever, or if you can find it in a thrift store or if you can find it at a garage sale. Yes. If you're going to Goodwill all the time and you're not going to garage sales and yard sales, you don't know what you're missing on because a lot of these people are just trying to get rid of stuff and declutter. That's where you're gonna find a Robert Graham shirt for on the cheap. So if your Goodwills are marking it up, go to yard sales and garage sales. You're gonna find some guy that has spent a lot of money on shirts and he's gonna to wanna to get rid of them. You might be able to get five of them, you never know. So just keep your options open. But Robert Graham, we've got these shirts for $6. And by the way, this one is a short sleeve. Yeah. Okay, this, this is a little bit of an experiment. We have only gotten long sleeve, um, but we sold the Robert Graham, we've, we've gotten two uh, that we've sold, sold like so fast within a week or less for $40. Each one, we got them for $6. And we got the ones that have the crazy prints, most of the Robert Grahams do, and also have the flip cuffs where it has a different uh, print on the cuff. Those sell so incredibly well. So you wanna be on the lookout for Robert Graham. Now this one, I'm only sharing this because the other one sold so fast, I didn't have anything else to actually show you. But Robert Graham is definitely one that you wanna check and I would just do an experiment on. If you can get it for anywhere from five to $10, a long sleeve button up and it has a cool print on it and it has the flip cuff. Now watch, this one even has the flip cuff. Look how cool there. It's a different print even on the short sleeve. And I think that we're gonna sell this. This has an all over print. I talked about that earlier. Looks like boomerangs. So it kind of has uh, you know, a really cool um, all over print with that. And I believe this is gonna sell. I think we have this listed for like $34.99. Um, and I believe this one's gonna sell too. But the long sleeve are for sure what you wanna be on the lookout for and they are going to sell. If you do good pictures and if you price it right, and again, we have sold two recently and they sold so fast for $40. So Robert Graham is definitely one that you wanna be on the lookout for. If it's more of a plain pattern, you might wanna pass on it. If it's a solid color, I think people are wanting the louder patterns and the all over prints and all of that. Mm -hmm. So it needs to have something special. Of course, if it has some wear on it or stains or anything, you wanna pass on those. But if it's in good condition and it's got some crazy type of color or pattern, it's a pickup if you can get it for five to $10, in my opinion. So just wanted to drop that in. Robert Graham is a great brand. Here's another one. This one is a really good brand, and this is one that I binge watch YouTube and had it uh, in, in my brain, and I finally found it. Not this one, but we've sold one other shirt, Howler Brothers. This is a great brand. So let me share with you some stats on Howler Brothers. So this is a short sleeve polo, but I'm also gonna share with you long sleeve button ups. But short sleeve polos for Howler Brothers, there are 136 listed, and there are 109 that have sold. And so that's close to 100% and there's not many of them listed. This one is really cool. It has a, um, a floral print on the top. So this goes back to that, what I was talking about with, um, with Robert Graham, where you, you're just looking for something that has a, a really cool pattern. And then what's awesome about this one as well is that this has a little bit of a pearl snap going on it. And then it has it on the pocket as well. And let me show you all the hit. It looks like a, I guess a monkey. Let's see if we can get in there, yep. But this is a great brand. We have this one listed for I believe $35 and we believe it's gonna sell. I wanna share with you Howler Brothers long sleeve button up shirts. We recently sold uh, a long sleeve button up. We found it in, at Goodwill and it was in great condition. We listed it for I believe $39.99 and it sold within about two weeks. But stats on eBay for Howler Brothers long sleeve button up, 555 listed, 641 have sold. Ooh. And so that'll make you want to howl and go pick them up. <laughs> All right, next one up is, this is one we just found, like it was in a video, the previous video from the thrift that we just posted, CC Filson. 
It says Filson there and then CC Filson Company. And this is a major Bolo brand. This is one that I've been on the lookout for. Now, let me just say that this particular shirt, and I'll go ahead and share with you the stats. When you look up CC Filson short sleeve button up, there's 189 listed and 99 have sold. So that doesn't blow you away. But these shirts and this brand, the value is already up. So if you happen to find a jacket, if you happen to find maybe like a flannel shirt, or if you happen to find pants or just uh, something like that, anything within this brand is incredible. It's, it's a great flip. Uh, we've watched enough resellers and YouTubers to know that, um, that this is going to make you a good bit of money. So we believe that this is probably gonna get us about 30 to $35, so not a huge profit, but this is gonna be sought after, I believe, and I believe that we're gonna sell it fast, even though the sell-through rate isn't just one that will blow you away. But this is a brand, let's come in one more time. Yeah. CC Filson, you wanna be on the lookout for it, not just for shirts, but for any clothing item. If you see that and you get it at a reasonable price, you wanna pick it up. All right, so next we're gonna talk about Western style shirts. And the first shirt that I want to talk about is a Wrangler uh, Western style shirt. Now Wrangler is one of those brands that it's got a ton of Western style shirts that are out there. And the bigger majority of them, you're gonna to wanna to pass on. But there are certain ones that are really good. In fact, there are certain ones, I would put them up there with a rowback type of shirt as far as the amount of money you're gonna get and how much they're sought after. So the ones that I believe, and we're gonna put a sold comp, I, they sell so fast, I don't have any with me, okay? So we're gonna flash a sold comp of one that, a couple of them maybe that we've recently sold. But the ones that I believe are gonna do so well and that we've actually had success with are Wrangler, what they call brush popper shirts. And what I think brush popper means, and you can correct me uh, in the comments if this isn't quite uh, right, but what I believe brush popper means is that it's a thicker material. It's not some, you see a lot of those Wrangler Western style shirts that they're a real thin material, but this is a thicker material and it's vintage. You can tell by the tag and we're still trying to learn tags. But when you see a brush popper shirt that's kind of a thicker, thicker material, not quite flannel, but, it's, but you can just tell it's a thicker cotton. And then if a bonus is that if it has a particular print. Now the prints that we've learned that are really good are an Aztec print or a Paisley print. If you find a Wrangler shirt, in fact, if you find one that's not brush popper, but it has an Aztec or a Paisley print, yes. then that's probably gonna be a pickup depending on how much you get it for. But the brush popper especially, those sell for anywhere from 50 to $100. And we have sold them for 50 to $60 for yes. sure. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe that there's other ones out there. In fact, we found a, a couple of them that were vintage and we found one that was not. It had sold out recently on Wrangler's uh, website or on some of the you know big stores that, um, that sell them. And we sold it for what, in the 50s, mm -hmm. 55 I think. Mm -hmm. uh, it had an Aztec print on it. These are incredible shirts. So you wanna be on the lookout for them. If it's a Wrangler shirt with one of those prints and if it has like an older looking tag, of course do your research but it's gonna be really good and it's gonna make you some good money. So again, don't have one with me because they sell so well, but I wanted to put that bug in your ear. But let's stay with Wrangler. Now this is George Strait. Good old George Strait. <laughs> Cowboy Cut Collection Wrangler. Now I wanna put out a, a bit of a warning here. I'm not saying go out and pick up every George Strait Wrangler shirt. I'm not saying that, okay? What we have learned and, and what our business practice is, is that if it is a certain size, in fact, let me take the hanger off and I'll, I'll show you this particular one that we recently picked up is a 2XL. So you can see XXL. And this one has, um, it's not like the most amazing print. It's more of just a, a plaid, kind of like a, a tartan plaid print on it but any type of cool print and a bigger size, anything above an XL, if it's a 2XL, a 3XL, a 4XL, I believe that that makes them more sought after. And so again, I'm not gonna share uh, statistics about it because it's kind of hard sometimes to, to search because you have to have a particular pattern and size and all that. But we have recently sold George Strait shirts. We found one that I believe was a 3X or a 4X 
We sold it for I think $35 mm -hmm. and it had a cool print on it. I don't think it was a paisley print, but it was like an all over little polka dot print. So if I believe that if you can find it for just a few dollars in the thrift, if it's in good condition and it's a 2X, a 3X or a 4X and it has a good pattern on it, it's a pickup yes. and it's gonna make you money. And so that's just my opinion. I wanted to share that with you. Another Wrangler shirt. Um, so again, you wanna pass on most Wranglers. I wanna make that clear. Most Wrangler shirts are probably a pass, but certain ones with certain prints and certain sizes are a pickup and they're gonna make you some good money. All right, and then I'm just gonna show you this one. We recently found this one actually in the most recent uh, thrifting video. This is Rafter C. Once again, not a pickup all the time. Th we got lucky on this one. This just happened to be new with tags. Um, but this is a big size. This one actually hit, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to remove the hanger out of these so you can see the, the tag. But so check this out. So this is 2XL. So we got that going for it. It's new with tags. We got that going for it. And then lastly, see if you can get in close. I don't know if it's gonna come in mm -hmm. clear. Mm -hmm. This is like a Paisley type of print, all over print. So this has everything going for it. And we are confident that this is gonna sell. What it will sell for, because it's new with tags, maybe above 30, maybe 35, mm -hmm. you know, mid to high 30s. But this is what you're looking for. Rafter C is not normally, in my opinion, a pickup, unless it's a larger size and a good print. We got lucky that it was new with tags, but this is the, the way of, the approach that you should be taking when it comes to Western style shirts, in my opinion, is you wanna be looking for those uh, things that will help the stars align and, and increase the demand and the value for your shirt. And if it doesn't have those things, then you pass on them. But there's a lot of them that will, and you'll be amazed when you start looking if you know what you're looking for. So be on the lookout for that. Great pick up there. So this one is one that y'all know about, but hey, I gotta share it because it's just really good. There's nothing too special about this shirt as far as print, but y'all know this brand. It is so cool. Um, sorry. Love it. Yeah, but this really is a, a cool brand. Cool is cool. <laughs> um, but this one is more of like a performance uh, type of shirt. You know, it's got the little breathable uh, thing. This is probably for like hiking and outdoors type of stuff. Cool is, is pretty much that type of brand for their pants and shirts and all. But this is such a good brand. We've sold their pants. We've sold... Oh my goodness, is the boss, did the boss come? Oh. Hold oh, on a second. Oh, the boss, you get to meet the boss. The boss of the business showed up. She never shows her face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Zoom in on that face. Look at that. Oh, she's checking y'all out. Oh, you saying hello? She wants to make sure that oh, everything's good. secure, okay. Is okay. You got everything locked down. Thank you for coming by, have a nice day. <laughs> okay, so we've sold so much of this brand. This is a pickup, more often than not across the board. Now it might change, it might become saturated and, and whatever, but but for now, we have the it. opinion, we're sticking with it, we're riding the cool train to the bitter end. But if you look up cool long sleeve button up shirt, there are 1800 listed and there are 1500 that have sold. So that's not just a crazy good sell through rate, but it's not a bad one either. And it shows how rock solid this brand is. We've sold a long sleeve button up for about $30 and I believe we can get about 30 to 35 for this one. So cool. We also have picked up some short sleeve button ups in recent time. I didn't share them in the video for, for you know, the sake of time. But when you see, when you see this brand and you'll see, let me, where's the little hit? Look, it's usually somewhere on the sleeve or on the bottom. It's such a, a good brand. Be looking for that hit and grab it because it's gonna make you some money. So let's move on. You knew we couldn't do a men's video, clothing video, anything, mm -hmm. shoes, whatever, without talking about one of the hottest brands. One of my favorites. And that is Ariat. And this one is Ariat FR for flame resistant. <laughs> and this brand is so good. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna show y'all. Okay, this is the front, not much to it, but then check out the back. Rig life. It's just incredible. And more often than not, anything Ariat is a pickup. I'm stating the obvious there. Of course, always check it. But when you see Ariat, when you look up rather, Ariat flame resistant t-shirt, and you do pre-owned for men, 
There are 52 listed and 346 have sold. What is that? Uh, 500, 600, 700 percent sell through rate, whatever it is. When you see this, you better pick it up. And I would even say with a sell through rate that good, that even if these are workman shirts, so even if they have, you know, a few uh, marks on them or stains or holes, I bet you this is still a pickup. Mm -hmm. I believe we, we're, you know, we're going to get probably about $30 for this shirt, $30, $35. This brand is so good. Ariat Flame Resistant especially is so good and it's a pickup. So be on the lookout for that. By the way, that was our first one to find that was an Ariat Flame Resistant shirt. Mm -hmm. We found a lot of their jeans and they sell so quickly. They're one of our top selling men's items, period, is Ariat and Ariat Flame Resistant yes. specifically. But that was really cool to find the shirt. So let's stay with Ariat, okay? All right, so Ariat, this is Ariat Pro Series. So, Ariat makes a lot of long sleeve button ups and short sleeve button ups, and we've picked up some and they've sat, but we've kind of learned that the Ariat Pro Series, and look, I'll show y'all on the back. Where's our little hit? There it is. So, Ariat on the back. But when you look up Ariat Pro Series long sleeve button up, again, the sell through rate isn't great. 1,300 listed, 753 have sold. So that's a little over uh, 50%. But the reason why I wanted to talk about it is because kind of like the Robert Graham shirts, we move. we move these. The sell through rate doesn't seem to reflect that it would move like really, really fast, but these don't sit for more than a couple of weeks. And we sell these for about 30 to $35. If you get them in good condition, the Ariat Pro Series are really, really good. And so you wanna be on the lookout for them. You can research them. You can even you know search it maybe by the size. This one is a large. But in our experience, just in recent time, these things fly off the shelf. And so Ariat Pro Series, mark it down, be on the lookout for it. All right, so this one, we're gonna finish off with some dressier shirts. And this one I have shared in one of our most recent videos, but I had to share it again because it is that good. So let's get on in close. Brunello Chuchinale. And if I'm saying that wrong, I'm sure the grammar police will uh, will correct me uh, in the comments. But Brunello Cuccinelli long sleeve button up shirt. They're pre-owned men's. There are 190 listed and 172 have sold. And let me tell you, this brand, what makes it special is, okay, that's a solid sell through rate, almost 100% but the value of these. These shirts sell for anywhere from 50 to $100. So even if they're marked up a little bit in your Goodwill, you know, $8, $10, $15, I believe we have this one listed for $79.99 and we believe we're gonna get, we'll probably take an offer for in the 60, 60 to $70, but to get that for a dress shirt, and this is a smaller size, but I even looked up a size small and the sell through rate was good and a lot have sold for good money. So this is a great brand. You also want to be on the lookout for other items, jackets, blazers, pants. I think that there are other items that this brand sells. And let me tell you, it's a great brand. One that I had never heard of and one that I've never heard a YouTuber talk about. I just kind of found it, stumbled on it, but it's one that you want to, to make sure to remember and be on the lookout for because it is going to make you some really good money. All right. So this next one, this one's another fun one to say. And I don't know if we're saying this name brand right. Probably not. Probably not. Turnbull and Acer or Acer. I don't know which one it is, but all I know is that it's good. So Turnbull and Acer, if you look up pre-owned long sleeve button up shirts for men, there are 145 listed and there are 184 that have sold. Good stuff. And this is another one, much like the, the one we just talked about, this is not your typical long sleeve dress shirt, button up dress shirt for men. This is a, a higher value. If, if you come in on the tag again, it says made in England. And I haven't done much research on what's special about this shirt, but all I know is it's sought after. And these sell for at least 40 to $50, if not more depending maybe on the size, the condition, the print, whatever it is. There might be certain specific models within the brand, um, styles or whatever. And so 
this is one you want to be on the lookout for. I've had it in my, my mind and, and been waiting to find it. And we found it just this past weekend. It was a perfect, uh, it was perfect timing with uh, us making this particular video, but this is a great shirt and a great brand. And you want to be on the lookout for it. It's going to make you some good money. You know what I'm saying? All right. So this is another good one. This is a great one. So let's get in close. Brioni. Now, Brioni is also known for their neckties. And for that matter, the, the Turnbull and Asser is, is also known for their, uh, their neckties as well. So again, you just want to get the, the brand. If you see that brand, that name on anything, you want to check it. But these shirts are really good. Now, this is one of those where the sell-through rate is, is not just going to blow you away. There's pre-owned for men, long sleeve button up Brioni. There's 680 listed and there's 320 that have sold. So that's a little under 50%, but when you look at what these are selling for, they're selling for 50 to $100, kind of similar to the Brunello Giuginelli shirt. Um, it's, this is just a quality shirt. It might sit for a little while longer, but I believe even though the sell-through rate isn't 100%, which is what we typically shoot for when we're sourcing items, this is still a pickup. We like picking up certain things if you see that they're a higher dollar item. We're okay with them sitting, and you can even mark them down just a little bit to increase that. If you'll remember the, the John Elliott joggers, there was like 180 listed and like 110 had sold. So that wasn't like an amazing sell-through rate, but we priced it right, and we still sold it for a good profit. And so that's what you can do with some of these items, but I just wanted to, to get you thinking about Brioni is another great brand. And they make suits, and they make ties, and, uh, and all of that, and you wanna be looking out for all of the Brioni uh, items because they're gonna make you some really good money. And last, but certainly not least, I purposely saved this one for last because I'm working on another video that I'm gonna share with y'all. And this is gonna be a good segue or transition for one day when I make this video. If you'll notice, I didn't share, I didn't talk about Polo Ralph Lauren much. We've obviously found Polo Ralph Lauren in the thrift. I purposely didn't include that with the shirts because I'm gonna make another video about Polo Ralph Lauren, just the brand in general and what I believe is good. But I had to talk about this one and we're gonna end with this one. So check this out, let's get in close. You see Ralph Lauren and you see that it's purple. And most of you are gonna know that that matters, but if you didn't know, just simply the color of the tag makes a huge difference. And it means that it's a higher quality and it's a higher end. Uh, this one says made in Italy. But Ralph Lauren purple label is a major bolo. We have found their shirts recently. We have found pairs of dress pants recently. And the amounts of money that they go for are crazy. So when you look up Ralph Lauren purple label long sleeve button up shirts for men, there are 596 listed and 413 that have sold. So again, that's not a crazy good sell through rate. It's not a bad one either, but this is one of those, just like the last few uh, dress shirts that I showed you in brands, this is worth so much money. Yes. And it depends on this particular one is a French cuff. So I believe that's gonna kind of put it into a, a different category and may make it a little more valuable or a little more sought after. But these shirts, once again, looking them up, they sell for anywhere from 50 to $100. And, and the Ralph Lauren Purple Label in general, we've found and sold one uh, shirt already, this Ralph Lauren Purple Label. Now it wasn't as dressy as this one, it had a little bit of wear on it. It was kind of like a, a more casual plaid material. We still sold it for $40 with some wear on it. It was a French cuff, but it was a little more casual and a little more wear on it and still sold it for 40 and sold it fast within probably about two to three weeks. So this is an amazing brand um, mm -hmm. and specific item, the Ralph Lauren Purple Label that you wanna be on the lookout for. And so this one is definitely a pickup. So be on the lookout for it. And be on the lookout for another video that's gonna be coming soon. It's gonna be a Thursday information video. I'm working on it now. I'm trying to do my homework and, and study up and, uh, but to do with pa uh, Palf Warren, to do with Ralph Warren, uh, the brand in general, Polo Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, vintage stuff, new stuff, what I believe is gonna sell and what I believe are, are items that you wanna pass on. And so you need to be on the lookout for that video. 
So I hope this video provided you with great information. This was another great list of Bolo brands and ones that you need to be on the lookout for when you're in the thrift and in the wild. And it's gonna give you plenty of extra options. We thank you so much for watching and more so we thank you for your support. We have been showered with wonderful comments. There have been so many people that have watched our videos, that have commented on them, that have liked them and have helped us to trend. And we thank you for that. Please continue watching our videos. Please continue commenting. If it's just one or two words, or if it's a couple of sentences or whatever, your comments and your likes are helping us to trend and ultimately are helping our channel to grow. And we are so thankful for all of your support. We thank you so much for watching this video and we are definitely gonna see you on the next one.